I help change makers to bring new life into the world in the form of stories. For over two decades, I worked as a midwife, bringing babies into the world. These days, I'm the story midwife. In the five minutes that we have together, I promise you that I will ignite the spark that is the storyteller in each one of you. I'm going to share a very simple method and it's called the five C's of compelling storytelling. Can you remember a time when you sat through a really dull, boring presentation? Endless slides, countless bullet points, reading out loud, dull, uninteresting voices. There is a better way by adding stories to your presentations. We are all tuned into the same radio station, WIIFM. What's in it for me? If you want to stand out and get noticed as a speaker and presenter, you need to be interesting. You need to add stories to your material to make them interesting. Don't underestimate the power of your personal stories. Your story is what makes you unique and only you can tell your story in the way that you can. So I want to encourage you all to share your stories. Now the brain works in an amazing way when it hears stories. Something magical takes place and it's called neural coupling. The brain waves of the person telling the story become the same as the person who is hearing the story. And stories allow us to create meaning, to have a connection, to have shared empathy. And if you want to make change, you need to have emotion. Without emotion, there is no change. Data alone just won't do it. So logic and emotion are the perfect partners in the story. You might be thinking, well, that's okay for her. I've got a dull topic. I work with academics, lawyers, engineers, accountants, IT people, and I believe there's no such thing as a dull topic, but there are dull speakers. It's your job if you've got a dull topic to make that topic interesting. So, the five C's of compelling storytelling are context, challenge, choice, change, and carry out. We have heroes in our story, usually three. We have, sorry, characters, usually three. We have the hero or the main character, we have the mentor, and we have the villain, who is the um, antagonist. And surrounding our story, we have curiosity. We want to draw people in. We want to make them think, I want to hear more about that story. So let's break it down, starting with context. This is setting the scene really briefly. Don't get bogged down in too much detail. What, where, when is more than enough just to quickly set the scene. Then you move into the challenge part of the story, right? Without struggle, there's no story. People don't want to know how successful you are. They want to know what challenges you overcame to get where you are. So think, what are the obstacles that that hero or the main character of your story faced? as they were going about their journey. Then comes the part in the story where the hero, the main character, meets a mentor. This is often a defining moment or an aha moment when a decision needs to be made. And the mentor offers some sage advice or some wisdom or shares a new skill. And as a result of that, the main character in the story becomes different. A transformation takes place. This is where the change happens. Think how is the person in the, in the story, the, the main character, you or the hero, different as a result of the experience. And the golden nugget for the story, the gift of the story, is the carry out. The carry out is what is the message or the lesson learned or the piece of wisdom that you have that you can share with others. So that is very simply the five C's of compelling storytelling. Then you need to bring your story to life. Add lots, language of the senses. What did you see? What did you hear? What did you taste? What did you smell? And then think about DARE storytelling, another acronym. Dynamic, authentic, repeatable, and engaging. A measure of storytelling success that I use is are my stories repeatable? If somebody comes up to me next year and says, I remember the story you told about you want to be memorable, you want to be repeatable. And I believe that the best stories are simple, short <coughs> stories told exceptionally well. You don't have to have a rags to riches story to make a great storyteller. Every one of you can be a storyteller. Start story journaling. If you want to know how, ask me. 
come along to a live storytelling event. They are absolute great fun. I hope that in the five minutes we have had together, I have ignited the storyteller in each one of you, and I'm really looking forward to hearing your stories.